Hello, hello, girls and squirrels, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I'm just going to call it The Witcher. Witcher Wild Hunt. Today's episode, we're going to go find out what the Blackens want. Blood. Yeah, we're going to go find out what the Nif Guardians have to say about the uh, war, war Horsewoman. I don't remember what they call her, but uh, Yennefer. Of Vangerberg. But first, this is a, you or you have a familiar face. Shut up! Oh my God! You have a familiar face, my friend. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods. Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? Uh, I'll let it go half free. Sure, let's see what you get. Let me have a look at your stock. Got that Tamarian armor. I need a wee bit more money for them dare saddlebags, but I do want that dare saddlebag. Um. I don't need that. No need being sentimental. So yeah, we're just gonna have to earn some money to get the horse Take gear. Care. The horse gear. What is the horse call button? Ah, X. There we go. Let's take a let's take a nice little jaunt. It's Durban now. D E R V A N. Not Goidemar. Piper eyed Hellraiser. I might keep going tomorrow. Ah, dang it. Get my fat fingers twisted around. I just like that little exchange. Figured you guys might as well. Now this is a bounty board or a job board. Um, they typically have a bunch of useless, you know, t notes for the townsfolk. Which, if y'all want to read these, you can pause the video, read it, and start back again. But there are contracts for witchers as you can see so we'll be taking both of those and then our quest will pop up quest stuff will pop up but there's also this little might yell at me I ain't do shit to you um but yeah the hell happened here what happened here wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Well, you know, you were a dick to me, but kill him with kindness. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. 
You're right, you don't. I do, though. So, here is a good... Let's check that quest. Here is a good uh, place to show off the Witcher senses. Yeah. But I gotta get my crafting, crafting materials. Alright. There you are. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Boot prints. A man's. Large. All right, let's get to tracking. Let's get to tracking this guy. Let's just bring him down. Let's get stinks of piss and vodka. Let's get our reward. Let's help get this catch this bastard. Man. Winds howling. Is it now? <laughs> oh no. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. What are we gonna do now? We'll never find him. Eh. Oh, yeah, we will. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. He's close to town? Lost his boots in the rush. I see them footprints. Tracks lead back to the village. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Alright. Wasn't you, was it? Is that why you were out uh, in the in the uh, woods out there trying to get away? Hmm? Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Let's just steal everything. Cause I'm a drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Oh no, it's it's definitely him. I just wanna steal it still. I wanna steal everything. Um 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 there we go. Okay, let's put you there and you there and quick sort and quick sort and quick sort and we're good to go. Um <laughs> One, you're cleaning dirt. You're cleaning dirt, woman. And two, that was... Disgusting. I'll just leave you to it. Have at it. Have fun. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Money? Money? Nah, hate you. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. You don't do no such thing. Calm down. Now follow me. All right, let's go. Oh, I guess I'm following you. Excuse me. I gotta. I gotta apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Looking for trouble. I was all the way over here. Hmm? Excuse me. I didn't push that. And now begins this long, arduous walk 
Back to the blacksmith. Here, let me get this out of the road for you fine folks. There. Now... I knows what I knows. Elsa bears her rump to the blackens. You want to bear your rump this way, girl? I mean... I'll take a blackened rump. Wanted. Honeycombs. We'll play top... We'll pay top coin. Large quantities welcome. Tamar Tam Tamira the Herbalist. Okie doke. You are so slow. Hey, your papa, t your papa told you not to. Your papa told you not to sing that one. Oh no, he's gonna get him a whipping. Him and Chetty both. All right, good. Excuse me. Up and at him. Hmm. What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged the nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Well, fuck. Harsh as punishment goes, but deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Well, thank you, partner. Let's see here. Nope, I meant that button. What we got? 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 Let's go for the devil by the well. Making me a slingshot. Gonna hunt bears. Now, just a forewarning, there's only like two or three kid voices. <laughs> if that annoys you, sorry ahead of time. Oh, Odlin. A brother. Good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But... So many corpses floating in it after the battle, it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith, or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master, if you don't Take care of it, that is. It'll come kill me daughter. I feel for you. 
But this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. Nah, we got haggle, brother. Here in my life, have I seen a sum approaching that? If you could drop your price a bit, I'm sure we'd agree. That settles it then. Two more coins, I'll take it. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. So what's your pay me? 22, uh... It's not Orion's. Crowns. So what's your pay me? Two, 22 crowns for there, brother. I'm gonna get it taken care of. Don't you worry. Come on, roach. Well, I was gonna try to find Let's out if go. it's a he or a she for you guys, but... She, I'm assuming. So we're going with she. Good girl. Uh, bad girl. Go, the, go the way I want you to. So nasty. Nasty and rude. Love that the the trees creak and groan and all that. Well, well, well. The we income as well. A noon rate. Wonder what it's doing here. Oh, got too close. I mean, I guess I could just uh She fled. She'll be back tomorrow. Something's keeping her here. This is the bestiary. This tells you a little bit about all the monsters. I will let you guys pause it and read it if you want to. Just that way you can get a little backstory. I don't want to have to go through reading all of that for you guys. There again, I'll treat you like grown adults <laughs> instead of my children. Something's tied the noon wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Poor Doge. Eh. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. You don't say. <laughs> Sometimes that double up of information, like you didn't just figure something out. It's so funny. It happens and it's so funny. Let's see. What we got in this one? What we got here? Just a bunch of bunch of crafting reagents okay nope there must be something else in there that I am missing what could it be there's nothing ah well I love just being able to take all this stuff without any repercussions People to yell at me or guards get mad or what have you. Just take, take, take. Tickety tockety took. Journal. Journal. Might be useful. Okay. Twenty seven three twelve fifty. It's happened. Volkir sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court in Vizima. Listed all the harm he's done to us. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk with nary a thought of repayment. How he barged in during Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. Now we finally got what we begged militally for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all of our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike our own, strike it out on our own. At last, we can live as free men. Twelve four, twelve fifty, the first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of Hovel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind, it's better than the most fantastic palace. 
Volkier fumed our home with hazelwood smoke to drive out evil. Buried Martin, buried a Martin under the gate to make sure no thieves crossed our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet. Loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bobble when we haven't plows nor hoes and that we ought to return it to the merchant. Over my dead body, I will never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volkir, of how happy we were that day. 23-4-12-50 They say the Lord's coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal, to beg us to return to the village. They say he's calm since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about the small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I have no intention to move one inch from here. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. I guess we'll find out, Carol. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, blood stains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. <sighs> what a douche. Noonwraith won't stray too far from the well. Noonwraith won't stray too far from the well. Not what I meant, Geralt. This freaking Lord. Noon won't stray too far from the well. Not what I meant, Geralt. This Lord is such a douche. Blood stains, almost faded, but the lines taut. Something's not right. A corpse. Hanged by the bucket rope. Woman the journal belonged to. Must be. <sighs> Wide pelvis, small jaw. A woman. Around 30, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Hope so too, girl. That'd be awful. Freaking douche nozzle. There's a lot of douche nozzles in this game, just to let you know. That's a weird phrase. Douche nozzle. If anybody knows where that came from, let me know because that's a weird one. Lucky not to come up empty handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. But Lovely craftsmanship. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Boy, I read that entire journal and you don't know that that is most definitely, definitely for that woman. Because it was pretty well foretold that they were going to die by the way... Those journal entry, that journal entry, those journal entries were written. Any more treasure? Man, like, I'm not, I don't know, I, I guess I'm very claustrophobic. Because something like this, if it was... If I was having to do it in real life, I would flip out. Being like, 
in clothes like that and underwater especially. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. Does I have anything to I keep pressing the wrong button. But yeah. I don't know. There's just, it's just some things like uh what do I need for that? I mean, I could go and see if I can find any around, but I doubt it. Pretty rare to start out with. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, watching videos of people being in tight places makes me, like, feel so uncomfortable. Makes me, like, hurt. Honestly. It's awful. And it didn't start till I got older. I don't know why. It looks like I don't know why I can't pick those because it looks like the plant that I need. But yeah, I don't know why. It just started as I. the older I got. And I hate it. I hate it so much. It's like I just want to curl up in a ball and die. And bracelet. Igni. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Ooh, girl, you hey, I it. think it worked. I believe that's today. You need some more makeup. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jack, let's go. And you did? Nope. And you did? Yeah. She's gone for good. Yes, yeah, she is. Let's see. What does the new nurse trophy do? Wind sign intensity. Sign me up. And that little bag is our noon wraith head. So let's go turn in this quest. Hey. Hey. Running into walls. I mean, trees. How dare you. Hey, big boy. Nope. Pam 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 There's some nettle. If any of you have ever wondered what I think staying nettle? Nettle. I just call it nettle. N E T T L E. Done. The well was haunted by the ghost of a woman who was killed there. I drove it away. I just hope every unburied wretch don't start haunting us. Or that battlefield's gonna cause us a heap of trouble. If they do, you know who to contact. Meanwhile, Claire, Volker, names ring a bell? I don't know him. Though I did hear our herbalist Tamira mention a Claire once. Same one, maybe? Your reward, Master Witcher. The gold I'd hid away for Mandy's dowry. Without you, she'd never have lived to wed. Now, there's hope for it, at least. Yeah, there's hope for it. For your daughter's marriage. I ain't gonna take that. At this point, doubt I'll ever marry. You keep the coin from Mandy, her wedding. Raise a toast to my health then. Thank you, Master Witcher. Them's warm words, you've a good heart. But I can't let you go empty handed. Take this at least. Good luck. An amethyst? Hold on. Hold on. So do you see that number next to the coin icon? Brother, you could have sold that for five times what you were offering me. 
Like, what are you doing? Anyway, <laughs> all right, now let's go talk to the Nilf Guardian. Come on. The captain of the Nilf Guard. Who doesn't sound like an well, yeah, he does sound like an Nilf Guardian. Oh, what do I see here? A questy quest for a crazy old hag, you see. Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty. This hurt, that is. Till the night afore the battle, a man arrived. Walked right in like to his own. Was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have gone away. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. Grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. Then you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. And I says he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. This woman may be a couple bolts away from... A couple... I can't think of any analogy. She crazy. She just crazy. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. You might be right. But yeah, I'll go in. Never Maybe taken on be. a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here. Just in case. You may be crazy, but you deserve to have your pan. Pan param. Alright, so you see that door? You see it? It's a sturdy door, right? Bang! Oops. <laughs> Bam. Oops. Bam. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. And I was going to make it more spectacular than what it ended up, ended up being. A corpse. Explains the stench. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going to bar me. I mean, you already are, lady. You're very barmy. Documents. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. And when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up. I did, risking my life and the entire blasted op operation, and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the Nilf Guardian army was better organized than that, but you... Tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone tits up, this time we'll choose the time and the place for the next meeting. Well, we have some espionage going on here. 
Well, as a matter of fact, ah, the priceless frying pan. Huh. Scrubbed clean. Oop, oop. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink, write letters. Excuse my yawns and my blowings. Getting a little late. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, son. For the road. Well, thank you, madam. Frying pan, spick and span. Alright, now let's go to the Nelf Guardians. Go, go. Ooh, oh, a baked apple. I wonder, I wonder if a baked apple is really, really good. Like. And another question. How does one going ab go about baking an apple? Like, for real, these are real questions. If any of you have ever done it, ever had a baked apple, ever baked an apple, let me know. Let me know how you did it. Let me know how it tasted. I wouldn't mind trying it, honestly. And we got us some... Ow. Some wolves here. If I could get my sword pulled out. So, just in case any of y'all are wondering, the sword on the left is the... Oh my goodness, they're kicking my booty. Sword on the left is a steel sword. Sword on the right is a silver sword. Steel sword is used for non-monster creatures. And the silver sword is used for monster creatures, obviously. Because that's the only choice left. Now, let's go see what was in this guarded... We still got one. So we got argue. Dog and wolf. Dog and creatures. Come here, boy. That's a good boy. You're all right, boy. <laughs> I don't know why Arthur Morgan popped in my head, especially the him talking to his horse. <laughs> but that's what happened and you've all got to deal with it just like me <laughs> uh, maybe what I used to call as a child night high where you just get really loopy late at night make way. you make way I'm walking here all right military camp no locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, uh, past the gate. A uh, vat gun. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Well, so much for being sweet and nice. Douche nozzles. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Excuse Counting me. Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick-skulled quartermasters, they got a place. 
Uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Sure. Show me where you're peddling. Okay, let's see. You don't buy much of anything, and I ain't selling you any crafting materials. I am not selling you any. I ain't going to... 26? What are you on crack? So long. Alright, let's go talk to the captain. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. That gun. That means Witcher. There's something there close about. 
Ooh. Oh yeah, see if I can do that again. how to fast travel look at the sign click it and think about somewhere else and open your eyes and boom you're there anyway i am going to call this episode here thank you guys for joining me hope you liked this episode um game as you can see getting more and more involved we're still technically in the tutorial so after next episode we should be pretty much to where the game opens up. We can do whatever we want. No more hand-holding. But yeah, we're just trying to make it through all this stuff. Um, yeah, I hope you guys keep coming back. This is great. I'm going to keep playing this. Um, it's going to be a very, very long playthrough. I mean, I have... A couple hundred hours in this game. Don't know exactly how many, but anyway. Yeah, uh, great game. Great, great, great fans. Hope you guys keep coming back. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Later. Hey guys, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked it, give it a dislike. If you want to tell me I'm an idiot or I've done something wrong, drop that down in the comments section. Or hey, if you like me enough, uh, give me a subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell. Um, and we will see you guys next time. Later.